Today, two groups of four compete against each other to guess the price of Animal Crossing items. The catch, if you guess the price right, you win the prize. And whoever guesses the most amount of items correctly will walk home with a hundred thousand bells. All of these awesome Animal Crossing contestants will fight against each other as I show them a variety of different items from super expensive to super cheap. If they guess it right or whoever comes closest to guessing it, guesses it right, they will get a point. It's very intense and I'm very excited to share with you what goes down in this video. It happened live on my stream and it was epic and I'm here to show you exactly what went down. I made this beautiful arena, of course, I am, I would say, Bob the Builder of Animal Crossing. I'm kidding, of course. I'm like the worst builder in Animal Crossing history. You can call me like Nico the Travesty. Anyways, beautiful colors though, right? Everyone will get their assigned color. And here are the five items that we've gotten. I think we have a great variety of items that people will not be able to guess. We did have a rule where you're not allowed to Google prices because I know some people are going to try to steal. And if something looks super suspicious, we might have to intervene. I gave the Dodo code to all of the people on my live stream and they came in with fashion. Here's Scarlet. Here's Tony from Quarantine in a really cool witch outfit. I like to meet all the guests and of course the best part about reality television is the personalities and the fights that go down. So here's Melanie from Chestnut. Of course we have Ethan from Good Place who's you know looking like he's about to ski down the biggest ski hill you've ever seen. I don't know. Unrelatable. I like to I like to snowboard. Would you ever predict that? I'm a snowboarder. Maddie is wearing Pikachu. Definitely trying to appeal to me Nikachu. Uh, Fiona, everyone like got the memo that they're supposed to like dress up in winter or like winter Christmas cold clothing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why everyone decided to wear those type of clothes. Here are the first four contestants who will be fighting against each other. Uh, we're going to do it in groups of four because, you know, it's it's simpler that way. And whoever wins the first round will be able to play in the second round. So winner will move on and the winner will win 100,000 bells. The first item that they have to guess is the... Dun, 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 dun. Tin Bucket, which I realized I spelled wrong, which is embarrassing. I had them all buzz in. Whoever buzzed in first will be able to predict which uh, price they want to predict first. Scar did 500. Tony guessed 450. If you see a little bit of text instead of actual text because it, the recording kind of got cut off a little bit. Maddie guessed 300. And Melanie, the final guesser, buzzed in last. Will she be the most accurate? Let's see. A thousand bells, says Melanie. So here are the guesses. Tony with 450. This is for the tin bucket. I would have guessed like 800 personally, but it turns out the tin bucket is worth a thousand bells, which means Melanie got it right on the nose, which I feel like a thousand is a pretty good guess. It's a pretty safe number to put out. So Melanie gets the first point and will win on top of that a thousand bells. She'll walk home with a thousand bells from the tin bucket that she guessed accurately. So as you can see, we have Tony, Madeline, Melanie, and Scar, who have zero points with Melanie at one. Next up is the wheelchair. Scarlet buzzed in first, followed by Tony, followed by dun -dun -dun -dun, Maddie, and Melanie is last first again. But maybe going last might be beneficial because you can see what everyone else guesses. Maybe it's best to buzz last. 5,000, says Scarlet. But if two people guess the same thing, whoever guessed it first will win. So that's the advantage of going first. Tony is not feeling confident. Tony goes with 1,600 bells. I don't know. For something like that, Maddie guesses 1,200. I, a wheelchair? I don't know. I feel like a wheelchair might be pretty expensive. Melanie guessed 2,650. The things in Animal Crossing are very expensive. I would have guessed somewhere around 5,000 too. But the price of the wheelchair is... 2,700. And if we look back at the guesses, Melanie was right on the nose with 2,650 being her guess. She was only 50 bells off and she wins a second point, meaning she is in the lead by far with two points. Now, anything could happen. Anyone could win another point. Let's see what happens in the next round. They will be guessing the price of the cute wardrobe, that white a uh, big thing in the butt in the back left over there. The guesses are seven thousand 
1,280 from Melanie, 1,800 from Scar, 6,750 from Tony, and finally, 3,200 from Maddie. Again, some screenshots are messy. I had to record it using my Nintendo Switch. It was kind of a mess. It was a mess. Cute wardrobe is worth 7,300 bells. That's a lot of bells. And Melanie was only 20 bells off. She is the three-time winner, and she wins three points. And she wins 100,000 bells. Wow. Very easy win for Melanie, and since she won the first round, she gets to move on to the second round. Melanie was like, can I be blue? <laughs> and then the girl took it on the far right. Someone took it. She's like, can I please be blue? And then someone took it. So <laughs> we have Tiny Bunny. We have Fee. We have Melanie, who wants to go by Lemon Cake. So I'll call her Lemon Cake from now on. And we have Mark, who's an egg. Okay. He's an egg. <laughs> we'll call him an egg. The first item that the second group has to guess is, dun da da dun, it could be any of these items in the back. Which one will it be? It is the tent. How much is the tent worth? Melanie buzzes in first, followed by Ethan, followed by Mark, and finally Fiona. Melanie guesses 4,444 bells, Ethan guesses 3,000 bells, and Mark guesses 4,000 bells. I, yeah, I would probably guess somewhere around that range too, and Fiona guessed... 4,500. So very close. Everyone's in the same range on this one. I would have guessed somewhere around there too. And it's 4,500 bells. Fiona was right on the money with 4,500. The next thing they have to guess is the fancy antique thing. <laughs> I wish I could have been a little bit more specific, but that's what, that's what I look at it as. Melanie guessed 19,000. Ethan guessed 8,300. Very, very, very close race here. And the other two, they guessed the following. 5,600 from Fiona and 8,000 from Mark. Now, if we look at the actual price of this antique thing, I would have guessed somewhere around 5,000 to 10,000. Lemon cake, I don't know, 19,000, that's a lot. But the antique brew, it was actually worth 20,000 bells. Wow. That is all, that's a very exp I really spent that much money on that thing, huh? <laughs> Fiona was like, I love this game. Good endorsement. Very good endorsement. <laughs> so, the next round, they have to guess the price of... Dun, 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 dun. They have to guess the price of a teacup. Or I guess it's a coffee cup. Yeah, it's a coffee cup. Again, I misspelled it. How embarrassing. I can't even spell coffee. That's a shame. Anyways, let's see what they all guessed for the coffee cup. Again, this coffee cup, Animal Crossing is so weird. Obviously, if this was real life, it'd be like, what, like five, ten dollars If it's really fancy, maybe like up to 50 But <laughs> they're guessing good numbers. They're guessing all the way up there. It's probably more accurate. I would have guessed 150 personally, but their total guesses were pretty high up there. 40 700 270 and 650. I will tell you, one of them got it 100% correct. And that person we know from Nookopedia, the amazing website, is Egg. The price was 270. He guessed it on the dot, which means we have a three way tie. Three way tie. So the tiebreaker is I asked them, how many bells do I have? in my pocket. And this one, no one can cheat, no one can Google this, only I know how much money is in my pocket. I did show my pocket earlier in the live stream, so if they paid really close attention, they would know how many bells I have in my pocket. And it's everything, not just stored away, everything in my pocket. And the guesses were kind of all over the place. A lot of them guessed 200,000, but Mark guessed 1 million, which was very, very true. The rest guessed around 200,000. Egg guessed a million. He was by far the closest. Big money bags Nico over here. <laughs> I have a lot of bells. If we look at my pockets, it's definitely closer to a million than 100,000. So Egg is the winner. I think this competition turned out very well. We had uh, Lemon Cake, who is a winner. Of course, we have Egg, and I gave everyone else, like Fiona, I gave her 10,000 bells for the one thing she guessed correctly. So it was a lot of fun, and I really, 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 really enjoyed it. I think there's some things I could change with it in the future to make it better. So if you have any recommendations, comment down below. If you have any big competitions, Animal Crossing competitions that you want me to play or want me to do, have any ideas, 
Shoot them down below. I'm taking all ideas. These competitions are a lot of fun, and you all seem to really enjoy it. There's a playlist right in front of you where you can keep watching these really fun challenges, and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you later. Oh, and if you want to play in these games, all you have to do is ring that bell and go to my live streams. I stream all the time around 8 p.m., weekdays, weeknights, kind of randomly all over the place. So ring that bell, and you'll get a notification when it starts. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye.